I'm Stephen. No change for Hearts fans this season. They're never quite sure what's coming next. Let's see how it went at Tank Castle yesterday against Kilmarnock. Never has the changing of a contact lens had greater significance in Scottish football than in this moment. Hearts defender Ryan McGowan was up the tunnel getting a replacement contact lens when James Dayton crossed for Killian Sheridan to put Kilmarnock 1-0 in front. And frustrating for Hearts, who'd probably had the better of the opening stages. Andrew Driver then slung in a cross, which Callum Patterson met with his head. Just not the right contact. And this would be one of those days for Hearts boss John McGlynn. Killian Sheridan would be trouble for Hearts all afternoon. After winning the aerial duel, the former Celtic striker crossed for Gary Harkins, who was just inches away from making it 2-0. The Sheridan signing already proving a shrewd one from Kenny Shields. In the second half, Manuel Pascali's fantastic pass found Sheridan and the striker powered on towards goal before supplying a composed finish past Jamie McDonald. Definitely onside, Sheridan making a mockery of the Hearts defending. And there would be worse to follow for those of a maroon persuasion. Jamie McDonald making a mess of Danny Ratchie's free kick. And who was on hand to score? Killian Sheridan completing his first ever senior hat-trick in the simplest possible way. All just too much for more than a few Hearts fans. And there would be plenty of booing come the end as well. Despite a late rally of sorts from the home side, Callum Patterson's been a huge success this season, but his radar was off and surely expecting too much to rely on a youngster for goals week in, week out. Next to try his luck was John Sutton from the edge of the area, but Kyle Leatheran saved well as he tried to keep the Kelly clean sheet intact. Two minutes from time, Mario Zalukas broke the resistance to make the score 3-1, but of course it was all far too late. Broken hearts, the story of the day, Killian Sheridan, the terror of Tynecastle. I think Killian Sheridan made the biggest impression on me when he was sitting in here and he wore his Christmas jumper. That took a bit of getting used to. Uh, but he's a special player and he could be a really good signing for Kilmarnock, Dave. He's a great signing for Kilmarnock. Any team in the SPL would have liked to have a player of his quality. He'd done a great job for uh, St Johnston last season. He's maybe a little bit overshadowed by Fran Sandaza due to his goals, but Killian created an awful lot of them and, and done a lot of the, the hard graft in, in that partnership. So. I'm not surprised that he started well with his command up career. I think when we, when we froze the pictures there, we showed that he was uh, onside uh, for, for that second goal. And uh, Jamie McDonald might not have his DVD recorder on, on for that one, Craig. Yeah, it's such a difficult ball. You, you see those ones getting fired in towards the far post uh, low. And, and when they bounce like that, it, it gives a, a goalkeeper very little chance, very little reaction time once it's missed the defender to then pull off a save. And uh, yeah, I think he'll, he'll, he'll probably think he could have done a, a little better with it, but it's a very difficult ball for a a goalkeeper to, to be dealing with. I can only imagine, Dave, that, that St Johnston would have made efforts to try and get Killian Sheridan uh, back, having had a couple of loan spells with, with the club. I think other clubs were interested as well. And when you look through his brief career, wherever he's been, that was Celtic, this was a, a loan spell at Motherwell, he, he generally scores goals. He does, yeah, he's a goal scorer. I'd be surprised if we never tried to get him back when he was available, but maybe it was down to finances, whatever else. But he's. He's, he's ended up at Kilmarnock and it's a great bit of business from them. He'll, he'll definitely score a lot of goals this season for I like, I like that one. Strength yeah, and, and skill to curl the ball in. This last weekend was his first one for Kilmarnock. Yeah, he and scores that's all sorts of goals. He's, he's great in the air as well. He's got a great leap. So it's a fantastic signing for Kilmarnock. Are you concerned about your old club parts, Craig? Um, not just yet. They, they don't have a, a great big squad to choose from. Um, they, they have brought in a lot of young players and to, to try and get them to to produce the sort of performances uh, week in, week out and, and get the consistency levels that, uh, that Hearts will be looking for is going to be difficult. But uh, I think that the fans have to be very patient with the, uh, with the young players coming through to, to keep supporting them because it, it might well be a difficult season uh, ahead for them. But uh, you know, the, the longer they're in the team, the, the better they'll become and uh, they'll get a stronger team at the end of it. When I let it be known on social media that you were on the programme tonight, uh, some of the Hearts fans were like, asking whether you'd signed a short-term deal at Tynecastle to January. But w what you can really answer is, how are you at the moment and where are you on your comeback uh, from injury? Yeah, I'm still, still trying to get back. Um, I, I've still had a, a few niggling problems with, with my knee injury, uh, which I've, I've had on and off for, for quite some time now. So uh, just trying to 
to get back fully fit from that before I, I start looking for a club. Um, you know, once I once I get to that stage, that's when I can can start looking for a for a club. Let's hope it's soon.